What's going on? We're back at it again. Your boy Drams on deck. And today, today I want to get into something. Today I probably want to do a little something, something. I ain't made my mind up yet. Oh, this is a good ride. I'm feeling a little riot right now. So we got the Nulu ride. It's out of uh, Kentucky. This is a very good one. This is a store pick, but damn, this, if this ain't good. This is some good stuff right there. I mean, just chocolate and malty candy. This is here out of Iowa. Don't sleep on this. This is a, a port finished ride out of Iowa. Do not sleep on this. This is a solid one. You can't find this everywhere, but I'm telling you right now, I've tried a lot of rides, and this is a, one of the best finished rides I've had. And some people have said, I haven't, not everybody, but some people said this is better than the last uh, midwinter uh, dram, the Act 10, the one I just released. Good stuff here. So. But I think we're going to keep going since we're talking about Iowa. I think I'm going to go right here. You see it right here. You see it. The Templeton Riot at Barrel Strength. You see what time it is. What's the ABV? We sitting up here at 57.3%. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. This is a yearly release. You see this one right here? It's a 2022 edition. If you didn't know, they're right here out of Iowa. Templeton Riot is out of Iowa. So they're a domestic one right here in the state. They got a they have a, a line of their stuff. They have different ones. They have finished ones. They got a four year, a ten year, six year stout. Got tons of different expressions. But this right here, what I'm doing, we're gonna, we're gonna do the barrel proof. This one right here, we're gonna get into it. But I tried this last year, was definitely surprised at the uh taste profile. So we're gonna dive all into it. Today we got a Templeton barrel proof on deck for review 22. Let's go. What's up, baby? Back at it again. Trams on deck. <sighs> Today, we got another one in the building. Today, we have the Templeton Barrel Proof on deck for review. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. This is the 2022 uh, edition, as you've seen earlier. Um, I actually, and this is something that's right here uh, done in Iowa. So if you don't know, I live in uh, Des Moines, Iowa. Um, so I'm a service member, so I move every couple of years. Uh, if you saw my earlier page, I started off in Cali, and now I'm here in Des Moines, and in a couple of years, I'll be somewhere else. So right now I'm in Des Moines, Iowa. The, I did not know that Iowa had such a, I guess you say, a hidden gem of whiskeys until I moved here. You know, coming from California, other spots, there's certain whiskeys or beers that's regional or wines too that you only might gonna find only in certain areas. Uh, I think Templeton should be pretty nationwide, but I will say that it's not something that was really on my radar until I moved to here a few years ago. And after trying this, I actually, and I got into it um, last, not too uh, not too long ago, as this last year's November, I went to the Des Moines uh, Whiskey Festival. Believe it or not, they, they have, the city has a pretty good whiskey festival every fall in November. And I went there in Templeton, obviously they're from Iowa, so it was at the, the festival. They had their tents out, they had, you know, they had a great spread, different, you know, food, pairings, live music, it was just a great event. Anyway, so I tried a lot of their different pairings. So. Templeton has a, a wide variety of spirits, even that you don't even see on the normal shelves. I remember when I went in 2021, they had like a, a rye finish uh, rye whiskey. They had a uh, sherry uh, rum cast uh, there. So they had some uh, uh, different kinds of uh, finished whiskeys. They're all rye. And so I tried it and I was like, wow, this is pretty good. So anyway, the 2022 edition, we're, obviously we're in 2023 now, 2022 uh, edition, I tried last year and I thought, wow, this is really good. And this is coming from somebody for, I would say maybe about three years ago, rye whiskeys wasn't my way out. I prefer more weeded ones because of the sweetness, but I've gotten into, in the last three years, I've tried a lot more rye. And, and the reason why I do this is because I'm a reviewer and I'm the type of person, I always like to try different things. I don't just pigeonhole myself and only trying one thing. I, you know, if I like cognac, so I only try cognac. I'm never going to drink nothing else. Or some reviewers only drink, don't even review bourbons. They don't try anything. They don't try Japanese whiskey, Irish whiskey, scotch. So I'm the type of person, I can try everything. If it's good, it's good. So I, I, so I force myself to try different rye whiskeys. And I'll probably say nowadays, I might, I think I might like rye more than I do wheats now. It's just, it's one of those things. I always try to evolve and try different things. So anyway, I tried this for the first time last year. Thought it was really great. They also have a, um, in the stores right here, you will see a Templeton, a four-year you will see a six year. You will see a ten year. They have a a, a one that's a, one finished in stout. So they have a wide variety of offerings. But out of all the, I didn't try the stout, but I, I tried the four year. I tried the ten year. I think, in my opinion, I think this barrel proof here is better than, even than the ten year. 
So, and that's saying something. Like I said, I, I like the 10-year, but this one, in my opinion, is better. Because keep in mind, I, you know, I do like higher proof. So this one, if I didn't say earlier, it is 57.3%. Uh, so it's pretty high. I love that. The finish is great for me. Uh, if you don't know, this is, a, this is a rye mash bill. So this is corn and rye. That's like the main, main two bish bills. So it's corn and rye. Um, it's not like finished or anything like that. But this is a very, very different one. I just tried this. I was like, wow, this is this is different. I like this. So now I'm doing a review for you. As you can see, it's almost the end of the road. Like, boys and men, it's, it's, it's almost gone. But before I got up, got rid of this, I said, let me do a review of it. So just so you know, because like I said, I was sleeping on Temple Tents. I moved here. I tried their stuff, and they got some good stuff. So I'm looking forward to see how the Vera Proof 2023 is compared to this one. Because the 2022 edition is very good. So without further ado, as always, we're going to nose it, we're going to taste it, and we're going to score it. Real quick on the color, like I said, this is a pretty light. It's probably like an apple juice consistency color. We all know what that is. This is like, like medium caramel color. And, uh, yeah, you could definitely, I mean, if I just look at the color, I would think it could be, also could be a cognac or something. So it's not super dark, you know. So uh, let's, let's see what this nose has to offer. <sighs> okay. Right off the bat, you can definitely pick up the rye notes. If you ever had a good rye, you can, you, the rye has like a little spiciness in the air. It has a spiciness to the nose that you could, that's just kind of, you know, very distinctive. If you're, if you're a, you know, I would, I would say someone who is a, a, at least an intermediate or higher drinker when you taste, you know, or smell or in, interact with rye whiskey, you can kind of tell like, wait, this has some rye in it. Night, because it's spicy, like a nice spicy. <sighs> yes. Definitely pick up some caramel, some high, some nice rye spice, sweet oak, vanilla. Very nice. Very nice. That's primarily where you pick up the rye spice, oak, vanilla. Yeah, you get a nice sweet note to it. I, 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 some kind of a sweet fruit note, but I can't pick up the fruit though. But <sighs> very nice though. But that rice spice and that sweetness, that that vanilla and that sweet oak is really is really it's very flavored on the nose. I like it, and it's not burning your nose like it's it's almost sixty percent. Like I said, fifty seven percent. So you know, I would think it'd be just like you know the ethanol it would be burning my nose or pretty close to it. But I, I got my nose deep in it. And it's not doing it. It's very pleasant. So without further ado, take this quick sip and let's see what we got to offer. Cheers. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. That's a solid pour. And this is not super expensive. Around here, you can get you can get a barrel proof whiskey for under sixty dollars. So this, depending on where you get it from, it's anywhere from fifty five to sixty bucks. You know, I've seen it as low as fifty four dollars. So it, that's a sweet spot. You know, from anywhere from the low fifties to sixty dollars is in that ballpark, and so forth. Nowadays, there's so many barrel proofs that that are just so expensive. Um, I mean, I just there's some whiskeys that's like two years old, that's barrel proof, that's over a hundred dollars, you know. So, I, I really appreciate whiskeys that are barrel proof, that are still very economical, affordable, and it's not through the roof. Nowadays, you know, like I said, for a good barrel proof, you're gonna, I mean, you, I guess the going rate for is at least 75 and up, at least normally. Nowadays, the price inflation, everything is going up, you know. Um, like I said, I, I really enjoy it. You can you can get some good bottle and bonds, like 50 percenters for you know that in that 50 bucks price point. But normally when you start talking to hot like barrel proof, like up around 60, a lot of those, you know, nowadays you're paying 70 and up. So in fact, this is like 55 bucks. I, I enjoy it. It's very, very good. I'm gonna take one more quick sip. I'm gonna give you the notes. Wow, it is very good. Wow. It's definitely going to re-up on this one. So, real quick, you get a heavy rice spice, but it's sweet, though. You get like almost like a a, a, a wine-like consistency to it, even though it's not like, to my knowledge, it's not wine mature. But it, you get a floral note, nice, soft, sweet rice spice, heavy, heavy dose. I mean, the vanilla in there is very heavy. You get honey on there. It is very like spice, honey, vanilla is a bit main three ingredients that you get a lot of. 
vanilla, honey, and, and spice. It is so, it is so balanced together. It's like it's packaged together. You get it as soon as I put it on my entry palate, you get the just like the, the, the rice spice hits you. But then it rolls right to the nice sweetness. You get that vanilla honey all right on the mid palate. That vanilla honey rolls around in with that with that rice spice. And it just goes down so smooth. And then right now, like I said, I downed it a minute ago and it's still laying around my palate. But you also get a little bit of that uh all spice, that cinnamon on there as well. Man, it is nice, nice. I almost get like just a little bit of like a of a raisin note as well on here. It's very good. I like it. It is it's it's nice. Like I said, the, the thing I like about it that when you sort around, like the flavors I just pronounced, it is it, they stand out. They're very heavy. It's not like if you're drinking a 40 percenter, a lot of times it goes down real easy, soft, and sometimes the, the, the finish might not be lingering. But to, to me, the one thing I like about it, if you like rice spice, vanilla, honey, you will love this. And the fact the flavors stand out very high. It's 57 percent, but it's it doesn't taste. It doesn't. It, it heat does not hit me like that. It doesn't. It doesn't hit me like that. It, it, don't get me wrong. You feel in a higher intensity, but it doesn't burn your throat. It's not scorching my mouth or anything like that. It's a. It's a good fifty-seven percent. It doesn't scorch your mouth, and it's, it's like it's very pronounced. It lasts long. I really enjoy that. So for me, this is a winner. For the price point, you can't beat that. I, I, hey, so if you have an opportunity to try the twenty, if you like those rice spice notes, if you like that vanilla honey. Uh, you, I think you'll really, really enjoy this. And like I said, for the price point, you can't beat it, man. Um, give it a shot. If you see it in your store, give it a shot. I don't, if you like those notes, I don't think you'd be disappointed at all. And I've had to rate this Temple 10 Barrel Proof 2022 Edition. Uh, one out of a 10, 10 being the best for me dreams on deck. And keep in mind, I'm comparing it to other domestic barrel proof uh, whiskeys, you know. Um, I really, really like this, man. This is like I said, man. This is a sleeper. I didn't notice I got here. Like, yo, this is a nice rye whiskey. So compare this to other barrel proof rye whiskeys, man. And and I'm gonna factor in the price point and availability, man. This is a, I give this an eight seven five. A strong. I mean, I almost, I almost want to go nine. I, I I really almost want to go nine. I really do. I think if it was just slightly more aged, it, it could be there. But I, I mean, I almost want to go now, but I'm going to give it an 875 ah, out of a 10. And I, I almost feel bad I didn't give it a 9 because, it, like I said, a lot of times I, I pick apart uh, people who, I'm, I don't even say people, but distilleries who overprice their whiskey. The fact that they didn't do that and they gave you a solid one. Man, I like I said, I almost would to go nine, but I'm gonna give you an eight strong eight seven five, almost a nine out of a ten. I really enjoy it. This is a good one right here. So if you like those notes, give it a shot, man. I think you'll really, really enjoy this, man. I love this one right here. This is a keeper. Like I said, it's the, in the shelf. It's still got a 2022 uh, edition of Barrel Proof. Like I said, we're well into the first quarter of 23, and they still have this. So I like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stock up before the 2023 rolls out. It's gonna be hard to find this edition. So. Um, but hey, this is a keeper. So if you if you see it and you like those uh, notes, definitely give it a shot. I think you'll enjoy this, man. But that's it for me, man. I hope you enjoyed it. If you never had Templeton or if you never had this particular Templeton, hopefully you got something positive out of it. And, uh, you know, like I said, man, if you, if you like that, give it a shot. Uh, hopefully everybody's enjoying the spring. Everything's going good. Please hit me in the comments because I love to hear you guys. I love to interact with you guys. I want to hear you guys' opinion of, of your uh, opinions of this bottle or any other temple that you might have had. I really, really enjoy it. That's what makes it fun because you guys are my drinking buddies. So definitely, like I said, I really, really enjoy that. So please hit me up. Let me know what your thoughts. Also, I have a Cash App Patreon if you do choose to support. I also have an Instagram page. So if you if you like my channel, check out my Instagram page. I have the link in the description box. You can hit the link and just check out my Instagram because I have a lot of bottles that I have yet to review that's on that page. So you can, you know, check it out on your leisure. And uh, if some people actually uh, request certain bottles for review if it's not already in my catalog. So uh, I also have a couple of hidden reviews if you didn't know in there. So check that out as well. But all in all, I hope you got some out of it. Temple 10 Barrel Proof 2022 is a winner. Yes, please get that or check it out, I would say. Um, if you have the opportunity to, I, I think it's a sleeper and it's a solid, solid pick, you know. Um, to me, like back in the day, like in you know, the Woodford Reserve, uh, back in the day, I used to get a lot of the Woodford Reserve, Master Keeper, the, the Stag Juniors, those I used to look forward to, to the releases. So now, after this one, I'm going to look forward to the release for this one as well because I really enjoy this. I'm, I'm looking forward to see what the, new, the next year's uh, edition has to offer in comparison to this one. So, uh, but anyway, stay tuned. Got a lot more hot reviews coming your way. Drams on deck. Yes, sir.